you see that on the left? Where it says win streak 9? Yeah, it's about that we end that. It's it, it's about time that we just get rid of that. It's it's not gonna be long for this world, so... That's why you gotta play Keeper sometimes! <laughs> hey! I'm only saying that because I, statistically, lose at least one run as Keeper before I win one. Call it a skill issue all you will. This character takes some getting warmed up to... to really, you know... Get going. There you go, see? <laughs> That's what I'm saying! <laughs> only slightly embarrassing. On only a little embarrassing. Where are the enemies? Oh, there they are. What the- I've never seen this room in my life, bro. What the hell is this room? I didn't even know this room existed in Isaac. What in the world? Thanks for all the coins, though. I gotta, like, clutch up, man. What the hell is going on? How am I getting hit so much? Yikes! Okay. We're all good. Give me that coin. Let's go. Okay. That actually worked out pretty well. That was an okay room. God damn! Anyway, hope you're having a good time. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Hope well, if you're not having a good day, hope you're having an adequate day. Hope, like, you didn't, like, trip down the stairs today and ravioli fell on you or something like that. Hope you're just having an okay time. Hope that you did your homework. Holy shit! <laughs> okay! Yeah, I want that uh, C-section. Thank you very much. Obviously, I want that restock too. And I could've... Matter of fact, the smart thing would have been to buy it first. However, oh god, I forgot my fire rate is atrocious because I'm keeper. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Okay, I'm gonna ignore my item room, of course. I will need a lot of tears ups to really make this pop. Thankfully, once I actually get a shot out there, the damage output is going to be tremendous. Let's just charge up another one. Anyway, what I was gonna say is the smart thing would have been to grab restock first and then grab C section. The thing is, though, I didn't know if I was gonna get enough money for that. And I didn't want to have to wait out on all the money, or or on the items or whatever. So yeah. Plus, it's working out just fine. Yeah, the fire rate's a bit... terrible. <laughs> just... just, uh... <coughs> I just waiting uh, about eight years to shoot one shot. It's no big deal. I'm okay with that anyway. I should definitely get restock, because it's a goaded item as the Keeper, obviously. Was there anything else in here? Ah, thankfully, there's nothing else that's really all that exciting, so... That's actually pretty good. Okay. Well, first things first. Let's charge up a shop before I even walk in here, because it takes so long. I'm glad that this is just like any other charge item, and you can actually carry those between rooms. I'm gonna need some luck up- uh, some range-ups as well. They're gonna really help <clears throat> with making this damage output even better, but... Man, it's already going beautifully. There's all my money that belongs to me. I don't even want this cube of meat, so... I guess I'm done here? Oh, boy. <laughs> Hold on! Your- your death will arrive within 8 to 12 business days. Just- just give me a second here, okay? Thank you. I need- I need a tears up so badly. It's the one problem with C-section on the Keeper is because your tear rate is so low, even though you shoot four fetuses at once, it takes forever to charge. This is almost worth it. Like, fast bombs is seven bombs. Honestly, I think that's worth- oh yeah, right. Restock. That's almost worth it for that alone. Like, seven bombs worth for just 15 cents is an amazing deal. I'm actually gonna check the curse room, and it allows me to open this chest too, which is pretty dope. A little bit extra money. Would you look at that? Oh, well, tarot cloth. See, that's what I get for my investigative journalism here, is, uh... I get to grab tarot cloth, which is actually a pretty good item. Just remember, this is, is gonna be a very difficult run for a little bit. You just gotta charge up your shot every time before you even enter the room, so you can shoot as soon as you enter, and have your fetuses go to town on enemies. That being said, you're never gonna collect any of the money, are you? Your fetuses are off, like, orbiting something somewhere that you're not even sure where. Surprised I collected as much money as I did on that room. Uh, well, Spoonbender is redundant. <laughs> I don't need you! I've already got homing tears! Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna save my money for now. There's some decent stuff in there, I wouldn't mind Stai, I wouldn't mind the ladder. I really hope that this boss can drop me a tears upgrade. Uh, the dime dropping up there is such bullshit. Hope charge up a shot, so you have it ready to go when you're walking in. It's Wormwood, which means that first shot was gone to complete waste, because he chose to stay underground for eight hours before finally revealing himself. At least now I'm finally getting some damage in. He should die. Tears up, please. That's not a tears up, but I got a luck up at least. I gotta check in here. Maybe there's a tears up in here. <sighs> Never mind. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna spend all my money in the shop then. That's how it's gonna be. It's the only thing I need. Imagine, dude. Im just picture it in your head right now. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use that image again. Yeah, I'm gonna use that image again. You're this guy right now. Picture in your head. I find Soymog on the next floor. Just imagine it. It's gonna be so awesome. Oh yeah, right, restock. Okay, tears up, let's go. Huge. Do I want options as well? Well, the tears up is certainly noticeable already. I kind of want options as well, but I'm, I'm gonna be out of money. Um, let's buy it. Okay, well, 
Car reading's okay, but I'm not gonna be fussed about missing it. <laughs> it is really funny to see Spoonbender and be like, well, I don't need that. I basically already have homing. Yes, I know. C-section doesn't actually give you homing, and if I get any other tier effect, like, say, brimstone on top of it or something, it's not going to be homing. Yes? Oh, well. Oh, oh, well. Boo-hoo. Woe is me, and all that. Curse of the blind. Hell nah, dude. I guess I'm not going to item room on this floor even if I wanted to. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna wait for planetarium regardless, so it don't matter. Aw, oh, man, I can't collect that money because of the little tears that are dropping everywhere. That's bullshit. There's something on sale. I gotta get that. Jesus Juice is a damage up. This means it's a range up. That's also huge. Okay. I actually hope there's no angel deal on this floor because I won't know what's inside. And I would hate... Aw, oh, come on. I would hate that to be the case. I would hate to miss out on that. I guess I can... Check the challenge room now. Right, I can't buy it. <laughs> Never mind, it's uh... Right, I forgot about that little detail. It's uh, gonna be paid. Whoopsie doo. You're kidding, right? Like you're actually kidding, right? Oh my god. I need to know what those are. T two secret room items. Holy crap. Let's do the mirror side first. I need money. This floor does not have a lot of opportunities to make money. I've already blown up my donut machine, I think. So, uh, no I haven't actually. So I still have that option, if there was a donut machine on this floor. Oh no, Turtlet responds to C-section. Turns out, uh, he dies. That's that's what he does. I can afford this, I should buy it. Ugh, it's another range up. I mean, I was gonna be upset, but with C-section, range is actually goaded, so... That's actually completely fine. I've still got my 30 cents. I may as well use one of my bombs here. Because this guy can drop a nickel, and then I get myself a lot of extra money. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. This is, this is the, this is titulating. This is like actual gambling, dude. On the left door, we have Cursed Eye, which thankfully with C-section, probably not that big of a problem, but maybe if I get hit while charging, I will suffer. And on the right, we've got Flip. Okay, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty decent, I guess. I won't be able to get much use out of it yet, but next floor, uh, it'll be, it'll be nice. Could have been better, could have been a lot worse. I may as well blow up this motherfucker too, because I know the one on the mirror side had a nickel in him. That guy had to as well. Yeah, the Cursed Eye, uh, scary, but probably not that big of a problem now that I think about it. All things considered, it's probably okay. God, there's The range being so high means they're sticking around for so long, it's so funny. They're sticking around forever. Didn't get a deal, huge news. HP, terrible news. I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, I'm just gonna head out. Oh, there's my planetarium, would you look at that? And we get Terra and Uranus for the price of one. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I love Flip, it's such a good item when it works for you. In this case, it really did, so that's happy. So the boss right now, though, it's probably Gideon. Yep, okay, well, that's funny. At least I got an Algus rune. In, in case of emergencies, I've got an Algus rune. Oh, fuck. No, I couldn't get it. This one will do, though, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm killing rooms like crazy fast, though. This is actually nuts. Didn't get a deal. Actually totally fine by me. Cause, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be fine. I went for all that hell just to get 30 cents and then I didn't even get a deal, man. What the hell? <laughs> Huge. Got myself a bunch of money. Anything cool here? We got booster pack on that. We got battery there, habit, mystery, gift, and humbling bundle. Hello there. My lord, what a loaded shop we've got here. I kind of want a lot of the stuff in here. Uh, I want mystery gift just to use in the secret room. I want humbling bundle because it's great. So I might as well buy both of these. Yeah, right. Restocked pedestals do not get flipped. That's fine. Flip you. Grab this. Grab this real quick. Let's have a look at what this mystery gift wants to turn into. That would be quite lovely, would it not? That's fine, actually. Like, you make it seem like getting Lump of Coal here is a bad outcome. Lump of Coal is amazing, especially with C-section. I can't be upset. Yeah, this run has gone off the rails very fast now. There was an initial hump to get over. Some, some you know, growing pains with uh, having C-section and low tier rate. All of a sudden... We're sitting unbelievably pretty. I would love the battery from the shop as well, and I won't be able to flip because I won't have a charge, but at least check what's in here, right? Hey, listen, with mom's contact, I need a charge. Is there a battery for sale in the shop? No battery for sale in here. Is a, well, literally the battery, but you know what I mean. Habit is technically charges, but I don't have any permanent money lying around, so it's gonna be a damn shame that the double the double booster pack got me, like, all kinds of messed up right now. <laughs> so what do I want more? Hey, listen, without being able to flip on it. A mystery item? Absolutely not. Or the battery. I think the battery is going to be so useful. Being able to just flip more is going to be so nice. 
I do have tarot cloth. You know what? This is actually worth taking in that case. High priestess, high priestess. Joke here. I didn't get a deal this floor, but I guess I'll hold on to this joker for the next floor. Might as well use this queen of hearts. It's a bunch of flies. I'll hold on to this joker for the future because I don't have the money right now to use it. Uh, even though I miss out on a deal now, it it is what it is, right? I wouldn't mind getting a, <coughs> a tears upgrade, perhaps. Ah, there's a tears up behind that. There you go. These guys will get hurt by my tears, I think, because they have terror on them. Yep, okay, there you go. Whoa! The double nickel. Hello, clutch. Fiendish creature. Demon of some kind. I'm scared. I'm alive. It's fine. He died, like, super fast. I don't know what happened, but I'm... I'm. It's fine. We're all good. It's all fine. I'm not, I wasn't scared. I wasn't scared at all. Alright, anyway, I got enough money for a deal. You don't scare me. Shell. That's your name, right? I remember it. Got the golden penny, that's what matters. A tears up is huge. I can actually afford whatever's in this deal, so I may as well check. Pentagram with Dark Princess Crown, which is useless. The, the latter of those. And then Guppy's Tail. You see, I kind of want to go angels. Kind of? <clears throat> but Pentagram is good, and a Guppy piece is good. I don't know, man. I'm gonna skip on it for now, I think. I'm not that liquid on money right now. I will skip on it. Oh yeah, I should be opening the door with this. That's smart. Hey, 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 And then I will hope for an angel in the future. I'd rather spend my money on the, the shop or something right now anyway. <clears throat> Anything cool in here? Mm, I see the apple, which I like. I see the, uh, the, 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 the growth hormones, which I like. What do we have in here? Anemic and ghost baby. Well, I'm not, I'm not paying money for that, that's for sure. Let's buy you. Let's buy you. I'm gonna flip anyway to get the broken modem, I think. I don't care much for empty heart, but here's the thing. If I'm gonna flip anyway, and I'm gonna buy the item here anyway, I might as well get the empty heart, right? There's no reason not to. It's a free item. Piercing. Interesting. Well, let's flip for now. Grab this. Extra trinket space wouldn't hurt either. So let's grab that. Well, all these flippable items, aka that dad's key, is gonna disappear. Uh, big whoop. I'm not gonna be too worried about it. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, well, I have Mr. Me available to me. I might as well try to steal something. I don't know why I would want this. I guess the speed upgrade. All right, let's see what we got in this shop, shall we? Ghost pepper and school bag. Uh, another tears up plus red stew. The candle on that one. Okay, let's just see what we have in here. Telekinesis and spider butt. Don't care. Don't care at all, actually. Completely indifferent towards it. Let's grab you. Let's grab you. Let's flip. Let's grab this, obviously. Would have loved to have you last floor, but oh well. Might as well grab this, get some more money together, and I'll buy the mystery item in the, in the item room. Anyway, here's a, here's a thought I had earlier today, because my dad decided to uh, make some spaghetti, right? Just just some good old spaghetti tomato sauce and some, some cheese. Just just classic spaghetti stuff. But it, it's a thought that entered my mind when I realized, like, there's there's something wrong. And this might just be like completely up to me, and there's there's definitely ways to work around it. But let me let me press. I'm bad at introing shit. Basically, let, let let's get this off the ground, right? What's the deal with grocery food uh, portion sizes? Cause here's the thing. I think a lot of people can relate to this. When you're making like spaghetti or something like that, a full pack of spaghettis is way too much. It at least for one person. That is like four portions of worth of noodles. That's like four portions worth of pasta, right? It's too much for one person to eat. The thing is, it's not easy to really separate that for portion sizes, right? Like, how are you gonna know? Oh my god, ancient revelation? Oh, yes, of course, of course. And I'm not even gonna have to flip because the item is useless. So what I'm trying to say is here, let, let, me, let, let me continue, right? If you're gonna make spaghetti, you're either gonna have to try and weigh off so you have about a portion size worth of spaghetti, which is hard to measure in the first place because for some reason volumes, especially in round containers, but like in general volumes are hard for you to estimate as a human being. I don't know what it is. For some reason humans just kind of struggle with estimating volumes accurately. So you end up always eating too much anyway. Which is me trying to say, yeah, I had spaghetti for lunch today and I kind of feel like I ate a little bit too much. The portion size was just about right, but I could have probably done with one less, one less scoop of it, right? <laughs> one less spoon of it. But that's besides the point. The, the interesting part is, how are you gonna separate the portions? Obviously, if you say a, a package of spaghettis or whatever is supposed to be for four people, it's four portions, then you can just cook the whole thing. If you're gonna have four people eating them, perfect, right? No problem. So the, your only option is if you're alone or not for people is to either cook the whole thing and then just refrigerate the rest and eat it the next day or later or whenever or to try and weigh off how much 
you're gonna want. But that's also probably not an ideal outcome. In my opinion, chocolate milk, interesting. And some more damage, interesting. So you, you feel me? Like this is, I, what, I, what I'm trying to get at, I feel what they, what they should start doing is selling food in the grocery store in pre-packaged portion size bags instead of just the full bag. L completely leaving beside the fact that it's a complete logistical nightmare. They have to completely redesign entire production lines uh, just to accommodate for a product that probably less people are gonna buy and it's probably gonna be more expensive. Just completely ignoring that fact. And also the fact that there's other ways to work around the whole portion size issue, right? I think it would be cool if they just sold portion size bags instead of the full bag. Then you, don't, then you wouldn't have to do the math or the whole rigmarole of figuring out what the right portion size is if you're making a meal. If you're cooking some pasta, you're almost always going to end up cooking too much of the noodles. Like, much more than you actually need to. Oh my goodness, what a shop! Give me that straight away. Give me that money equals power. I want that black candle behind the demon baby as well, so you know what? By you. Flip. By you. By you. I can't believe I actually got a small rock out of this, that's incredible. I don't know if, one if I want car battery when I've got flip, I think that seems like a bad idea. <laughs> What a shop, holy crap, dude. Like, like, think about it, right? Why do, whenever you buy, like, steaks or something, or when you buy sausages at the store, why does it come in a pack of, like, four? You're not gonna eat four steaks alone, right? So you, you're gonna make one and then put it back in the freezer or something. That seems like, I don't know, it seems silly, right? I feel like portion sizes in grocery stores are not made for single, for, like, single portions. For, like, people that are just gonna cook for themselves or something. Which is reasonable! I think the average people that go to the grocery store are probably people shopping for families. I understand, okay? It doesn't even apply to me because I'm not living alone or cooking alone. But still, it, it seems like an untapped market, okay? You wouldn't be able to sell large quantities of it, but it feels like an untapped market to not sell single portion size packages of spaghetti or something like that. By the way, little spaghetti trivia. Did you know that... Spaghetti refers to a whole plate of the noodles, and a singular one of the noodles is actually called a spaghetto. I am not making this up. That is that is that is real. <clears throat> a single spaghetti noodle is actually called a spaghetto. You can go on Wikipedia and look this up. It's it's real. <laughs> I swear it's real. And it's also really funny because it's just a single image of a little noodle and yeah, it's it's funny, okay? Anyway. So basically what I'm trying to say is we should have better portion sizing. Like, as much as it makes sense that they sell the big package because it's more economical or whatever, they should start selling stuff in portion sizes instead. I feel like it's gonna lead to more food waste, because if people that aren't gonna use up all those portions are buying it, they're gonna end up not eating all of it, and then some of it is gonna get thrown out, and you know all that, all that jazz. You know how people are with expired food. Oh, something's one day past expiring? Well, I guess I'm never eating it. Oh. Just use the luck up here, honestly. Grocery stores throwing out food that isn't even expired yet just because they had a new shipment come in. And, uh, thus are better off, you know, just stocking it with the new shit. Pisses me off, man. Do I want a Spelunker hat with Bozo on the other side? Nah, I'll just gamble. Bomb bag? And crack this guy that- Well, I mean, I can carry it, but I wouldn't I, right? This is an amazing trinket because I'm about to go to the womb. <laughs> I guess I'm kind of done, huh? I could, like, splurge on the shop, um, considering I have restock, but I can also do that next floor. It doesn't really matter, right? Why would I waste my money on useless items on this shop, which is also gonna make me waste a bunch of my damage and shit, when I can instead waste my money on the next shop that I get instead? Doesn't that make sense? No items in here is actually good, because that means I'm not even tempted to lose my angel chances. <laughs> ah, what the hell? I didn't know there was a fire in there. Oh man. I gotta be careful. Maybe I'm just crazy about this. Maybe maybe you really are supposed to, like, treat... Ooh, nice. Supposed to treat the food differently, right? Maybe you are just supposed to straight up, um... Like, say a, you have a big bag of potato chips or something that you wanna... Uh, sorry, sorry uh... I, I'm, I'm talking the Britishisms here. Uh, of, of french fries. Uh, you know. Actually, no, potato chips are a good example of this as well. Did you know that for, for potato chips there's actually, like, serving sizes? Because... You know how, like, usually when you when you eat potato chips, you end up just eating the whole bag in, like, 24 hours, which is obviously not what you're supposed to do and, like, really unhealthy? Apparently, a serving size of potato chips is, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, like, a, a total of 10 chips or something like that. That's, like, a single serving size. Which is crazy! Why did they put so many chips in a bag and make them taste, well, so good if they don't 
if you're not supposed to eat all of them? Why does unhealthy food taste good? Why can't we, like, why haven't we invented more foods that are both healthy and also they taste really good, right? Fruit is, like, insane because it not only is fruit good for you for the most part. I'm gonna get somebody saying, oh, well, this fruit sugar is and sugars are bad. Shut up, okay? Fruit is good for you. You should eat, like, at least an apple a day. You should eat a banana a day. Whatever else you want. You don't have to eat all fruits. It's, it's up to personal tastes, really. But fruit is good. And if you disagree, you're stupid. Another Joker card. I like the idea of that. First of all, I want to see my shop this floor, but I guess it don't really matter that much. Holy shit, the amount of money in this room. Fruit is like a crazy example, though, of a food that, like, nature has invented that both tastes good and it's actually healthy. It's good for you if you eat it. Well, yeah, everything in moderation. You're always gonna have somebody say, well, anything can be unhealthy if you eat enough of it. Yeah, okay, you can eat a spoonful of concrete and that shit's gonna kill you. It still means you can eat it. I get it, okay, I get it, but we need to invent more foods, like, especially carb-rich foods or whatever, that taste good. Because, like, carbs always taste good. Carb foods just... Something in our brains, you know, makes them taste really good. Uh, why would I open that? I'm silly. I saw it was a mimic chest and everything. And yet, for some reason, we cannot resist to eat them, even though we know they're unhealthy. Because that's the problem, and that's why I was a picky eater for so long. A lot of vegetables don't really taste all that great, unless they're prepared well. And even if they're prepared well, a lot of the time they just kind of taste like nothing, you know? They kind of they kind of don't really taste like much. Is that a mom's key times two? There's a mom's key on the flip here and another one here. That's funny. <laughs> What's behind Bombonomicon? Birthright. Holy shit. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to just buy this. Buy this for the range up because it's a free item. Might as well, right? Might as well buy the 10 bombs to get it's a free item. And, well, I don't really care for the Bombonomicon, but he gets to be around for a second and then he gets flipped. And there we go. We got this. We got the double mom's key, which is honestly funny as hell. And just a ton of active items, which is, uh, well, I have different feelings about that. Now I'm starting to think, hold on. Does the bonus from Keeper's Sack outweigh the damage down from the money I lose? Probably, yeah. I actually know how to think about it. Let me just go grab my Yoru rune real quick. Oh, babe, why are these all actives, though? It pisses me off. Give me the mystery egg. This seems to be, like, treasure room items. I mean, I'll take a host hat. Thank you very much. I don't think this infestation for 27 cents is worth it, though. Proptosis, huh? I think I don't want that with, uh, C-section. Proptosis is very anti-synergy with C-section. There's a lot going on in here. There's a- there's a lot going on in here. It's conjoined, might as well. I don't think I want to take that. I don't think the extra- Fetus is worth the massive tears down. Fine, give me the speed up, I guess. That doesn't even do anything for me. Another range up for 37 cents. God damn. You know what? Fine, give me another range up. Fine, I'll spend my hard-earned cash. Was the damage up worth it? Well, evidently, I still got 0.2 damage out of it, despite losing all the money. So, like, it was actually just worth it. Got a devil deal instead, which is a damn shame, which means I... Uh, I really don't want to get anything in here, because I want to get an angel deal, so I can get my second key piece. The only thing worth taking in here would technically be dead cats, but that would also lower my health, so no, I'm not taking it. I'm just getting out of here. I should get some money and then use the Joker card to, uh, well, see what my angel deal has. Hey, hey, that'll do. Joker! Another devil deal. You've got to be shitting me, bro. What the hell? What the hell, man? Why are you doing me like this? <clears throat> Got no reason not to. The one bump, dark bomb, he's not gonna do anything, so I might as well take him, right? A world card for a trap door. Hello there. That seems fun. What is this one over here? A tower card for tinted rocks, perhaps? Although I don't see any that actually spawned. Probably probably because I left the room a little bit too early. Oh, well, what do we have down here? A restock machine. You shouldn't have. Okay, the flipped item stays the same. That's fun. Oh. <sighs> How the hell does Lacry work with C-Section? I feel like I actually don't want it for once. I'm usually a huge Lacry fan, but I think I don't want it for once. I think I'm better off not taking it. If it's gonna end up being the best item in here, oh well. It would've been the best item. Ah, damn shame. I don't care about my reflection. I think I remember it being bad. I, like, I either remember C-Section being really bad with my reflection or really, really good. Because you get a massive range up, but they also kind of like, well, Get, like the whole returning thing right so i don't know if it's actually really good or really bad i am not sure but i'm gonna err on the side of caution and just work with what i've got all right here we go boom i'll be able to do a bunch of flipping here won't i actually maybe these are chest items so maybe i won't be able to flip now that i think about it yeah no i won't be able to flip that's a damn shame but at least i'm getting conjoined and i'm getting brimstone that's what i was worried about <laughs> well i can buy everything this is just a massive damage up this is conjoined, this is conjoined, might as well take it, might as well take this, might as well take this, 
Oh boy. Yeah, I got, I got Chalky Milk as well, right? Oh, and they're gonna be kind of homing because of Revelation. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> We're gonna be feasting. The C-section fetuses are just a bonus at this point. They're just, they're just they're there for like moral support. Well, Flip is pretty useless now, right? So oh, it doesn't hurt to just try, at least. Depression, sad face. Give me money, it's damage. Even if it's 0.05, it's damage at the end of the day. You know I can't resist. Might as well dupe this. Hey, I got a second flip, let's go. <laughs> let's go, dude. Too bad it does nothing on the chest or in the dark room, which is a damn shame. Oh, hell yeah. All right, that's damage. In case I really needed more of it. Because that's something I was really lacking. Now I have Toxic Shock basically killing every room as I walk in. Which is going to be even funnier. IBS I absolutely don't care for. You know what make it even funnier? If it made two of them. Okay, well, it deleted it. That's even better, actually. Let's just fight the lamb real quick. It should be as quick as one, two, three. Yep, he's dead. <laughs> Bro, it took a second to realize that. But he is indeed dead. And uh, no void portal either. Well, that's fine. Let's just see what we have back here. Maybe I miraculously find another dad's key or a cracked orb or something like that. Are you kidding me? Okay. Yeah, I mean... Oh, fuck, I have host hat. How am I gonna hurt myself? Oh, high priestess card. Yeah, that's gonna do it, I think. It's gonna be my only way, actually, of doing it. I need to use this. Get stomped. You didn't stomp me. Motherfucker. Mother... I hurt myself. I can't hurt myself! I, I... I gotta find something that allows me to hurt myself and open that door. <laughs> I don't know. I actually don't know if there's a way for me to open this door right now. I didn't realize the high priestess was gonna stomp my familiars. Because they technically count as enemies. Um... Damn! No, I think I've been blue-balled. I think I've actually been blue-balled. I don't think there's anything I can do. I think I'm cooked. It's it's over. It's so jover. That's a darn shame. I could cheat, but I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not a cheater. This run's been hella fun. That's all that matters. The run's been hella fun. And I will see you again next time. AKA tomorrow. AKA next time. AKA tomorrow. Have a good one. Oh, I'll see you then. Bye.